Okay, this video is how to uh, uh, drop and drag or drag and drop an audio clip into your timeline. So we've already uh, created our project and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to come all the way up to the left hand corner with our cursor and you're going to see there's we're in clips and we're going to slide over one and we're going to click on this little music thing and the photo deal. And it's going to give us a number of different things. We've got photos, we've got GarageBand, we've got iTunes, uh, and then we've got sound effects. In here, we can use these jingles uh, because they're, um, you know, there's no copyright on them because you bought Final Cut Pro, so you own the right to use them commercially or for your private use. So let's just pick out a we're going to pick out a, a song here. I'm going to go to uh, this jingle. It's about eight seconds long, and it's called Broadcast News. Now, if I click on it with my cursor, it highlights it. So if I want to preview it, I can by just pressing the space bar on, uh, on uh, my keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can hear it. <laughs> That's broadcast news. Now, this would be something you might use, you know, in the beginning of something to uh, show excitement. If you look up here, it gives us it gives us that uh, a bar that shows the wave frequencies of the sound. Um, so, do we really want that one? I don't know. We could use it. The way you use it is you're going to put your cursor on it, press down, and you're going to pull it. And as you can see, see it's sliding down, and then I bring it underneath, or I bring it there, I bring it underneath my uh, um, clip. Now my clip has some ambient noise in it. I got to get my cursor off of that. My clip has some ambient noise in it. Now if I stay over here, you're going to hear you're going to hear it as I go over it. Right? You hear that? Now, if I want to get rid of that, I don't know if I want to fully get rid of it. I may want to keep that in the background. I'm going to put my cursor on it and push down and hold. And you're going to see adjust volume. And you see those two little arrows right there? That lets me know that I'm on the sound for the clip. And so I'm going to push down, and then I can pull that little line down until I get it to where it's, oh, you know, fairly, it's still there, but it doesn't annoy you. And then I'm going to pull out, come over here, pull this over to the side. And now uh, what we can do is we can press down on the space bar and sample it to see if we really like this or not. So here goes. Let's check it out. Try it. Eh, I don't know. Do you guys like that? I don't know if I like it or not. So let's, let's click on it. And then let's hit delete and get rid of it. Let's try one more. Let's go to, uh, okay, uh, let's try this catwalk short because it's longer and I'm going to have to edit it for you. I'm going to show you how to do that. You guys like that one? We can try it. I don't really like it that much. I'm just going to pull it straight down underneath the clip, pop it in there. And then you're going to notice it's a little long, right? So what we have to do is we got to bring it to the very end of the clip because we don't want this, the clip being, you know, this would make our clip a lot longer. And the way we do that is we come to the very end with our cursor and we're going to, we're going to click down and hold it and then we're going to just pull it all the way over. Now, if you want to expand the clip, and so that you can do a better edit on the sound, you can hit the command and the plus key, and it makes it a little bit bigger so that you can see the music down here and find the breaks and also bring it right out even with your clip. Now, let's just listen to the very end of it. All right, let's try again. Right now, if we want to, if we want to edit the end of it and fade it, what we're going to do is we're going to click right at the very end here. 
we've got you have to put your cursor it it takes a little bit to get it this is a fade the audio out and you'll see those two little arrows and that they're right over that little ball there and what I'm going to do is push down on it I'm going to pull those arrows over and what that does is that's going to fade this music now remember I expanded this clip so I really got to pull it over far all right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to shrink the clip a little bit so we get a better idea of how much we faded it. As you can see, we didn't fade it at all, right? So we need to get, get in there again and pull it a little bit more. Because when the clips expand it, you know, it looks like you faded it, but you really didn't. So now we faded it. Let's bring our cursor here and let's see how it sounds. And so there's your fade. I'm not sure I like that, but that's how you do it. <laughs> so now you know how to fade a clip. Um, if you notice when you're using this, whenever you're going to pull something, it's going to give you these two little arrows. So that lets me adjust this sound here, right? And then over here, you get your two little arrows, and that lets me adjust my fade. To do this, you've got to press down on your mouse and hold it and then move it. This one we have to move laterally and it gives us actually a timeline here of where we are in the clip. Over here you pull down it also gives you the amount that you're pulling it down in decibels and the, the amount that you're raising it. Um, so that gives you a little bit of an understanding of what you're doing but I just kind of I eye it <laughs> and I just kind of uh, listen to it and if it sounds okay then I, I keep it. And that's pretty much how you uh, work your sound. Um, uh, these, uh, all of these up here are in alphabetical order. You can do them by time. You can do them by genre. You can do them by name if you happen to know what the name is. Uh, but that's how you use the sound in Final Cut Pro uh, 10. They've moved some things around in the new version, so you got to kind of find them. And I hope that this video uh, helped you to get there. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I've got many more on how to use Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to try to make them short and to the point. All right, peace out.